Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Frames act as dividers for web pages so that we can display more than one web page at a time. This can be useful for navigation in a site. For instance, if you had a framed site, you could display a single navigation bar at the left of the page and have the links, when clicked, appear in the page to the right. This is very common and also a useful way to utilize the power of frames. When you want to implement a framed site, it tends to rearrange how one deals with the site. When you're creating a framed site, you first need to create the framed page. Then you'll need to fill in the frames with content pages. Finally, you'll need to make any necessary adjustments to the layout of the frames and set their properties. Let's take a look at how we can create a frames page. First off, we'll need to find our page templates. You can use the menu bar or the task pane to get to these. Then in the page templates dialog box, click frames pages. This will show you a list of the different types of frames pages available in front page. Here, you can click each of these icons to get a preview of that frames page in the lower right corner of the dialog box. When you find one you like, double click it. Once your new frames page opens, notice that you have two additional tabs or buttons at the bottom of the page. No frames, and in front page 2000 and 2002, you'll have a new button that says Frames Page HTML. Front page 2003 doesn't have this extra button. The No Frames tab or button displays a message that non-frames capable browsers will see. If you create a frames page, there is the possibility that a visitor will be using a browser old enough that their browser doesn't yet support frames pages. In this case, it'll be necessary to have some sort of message to let them know that that's why the page is not displaying correctly. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.